What's up, everybody? Um, wanted to check in and give you some updates on everything that's going on. There is a lot going on right now, and so I thought this might be the easiest way. Uh, so this is going to come out on social media, email, I'll text it to you, however I can get it in front of you, uh, so you can take a couple minutes to check it out. But I'll try to keep it short and to the point. Um, but like I said, there is a lot going on right now. God has opened so many doors for us to be able to share his love with people. And we are just incredibly grateful to be able to do that and to be able to serve the community and serve beyond our immediate community even. Um, one real quick update is we are getting ready to launch a new uh, volunteer software. Uh, this is going to be a great tool. Over the past year and a half as we've grown, uh, one of our struggle points has been getting all the information out to people, scheduling volunteers, um, you know, having the project scheduled out and everything. Uh, so this software is going to really help with that. Um, once we get it launched, we'll have more information coming out of showing you how to sign in, how to see the calendar, uh, so you can see what's going on, and you'll just be able to kind of pick projects that you're available for to serve with us. Um, so I just wanted to give you a quick heads up on that. It's not ready yet, but it is coming, uh, so we'll have more information coming out about that uh, very soon. Um, the other thing is, uh, as you've heard over the past uh, few days, there has been several natural disasters around our country. Um, Canton, North Carolina was hit with some pretty significant flooding after uh, the uh, tropical storm that came up through the Gulf. Uh, also, a, uh, Waverly, Tennessee was hit pretty hard. And uh, people know both of those communities are, are just really struggling right now. And uh, so we're trying to find ways that we can help. Um, We've already partnered with God's Pit Crew going into Canton, North Carolina. Uh, we've got some people from here that are already down there with their team. And then we've got some more folks that are gonna be going next week. Uh, I'm gonna be down there. Uh, I do have two seats left in my truck. Uh, we're leaving Sunday afternoon after church and we're gonna come back real late uh, Wednesday night. So we'll be able to serve Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, there's another team from up here that'll be going down. I believe they are leaving on Tuesday and we'll be serving Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, so we'll have teams down there. So if you still wanna go down and help out with that, please let us know. We can get you connected. Um, like I said, two more seats left in my truck for Sunday if you wanna go down then. Um, but basically what we'll be doing down there is we're going into the homes and doing what's called a muck out. So we're cutting out the wet drywall, insulation, flooring, getting dehumidifiers in there and fans in there so they can dry out the home so they can start the rebuild process. Uh, we are working on some plans to go back in a few weeks and help with uh, putting drywall in. Uh, so that'll probably be toward the end of September, beginning of October. Uh, we've still got some logistics to figure out on that. So there again, just kind of keep, keep posted. Um, I just wanted you to know that that was coming, um, but we don't have all the details yet as we're still getting all that stuff figured out. Um, that, like I said, that will be toward the end of September, maybe early part of October. We're going to try to get that worked out. Uh, we're really blessed. We have two professional drywallers uh, that uh, are, serve with us and have agreed to help go down there and lead teams. So we'll be able to, um, you know, one of the things that we really want to do whenever we're serving and whenever we're doing stuff like this, we want to serve with excellence. We know it's not going to be perfect. We know it's not going to be, you know, just everything is just exactly right. And all. there's always going to be just, you know, things that aren't perfect. <laughs> we get that. Um, we're not perfect. Um, but we want to do it with excellence. And so this is really a great opportunity uh, to have these two guys come alongside of us uh, since they're professional drywallers and really do this right. It's also a great opportunity uh, for folks like myself that want to learn a little bit more about drywall uh, to be able to learn a little bit as we're going through there so that the next time this comes up, we'll have a better skill set. Uh, so really excited about that too. Um, here locally, we have a lot of projects going on as well. Uh, we have four wheelchair ramps coming up in September and the first week of October. Uh, we have two bathrooms. Uh, one of them is in progress right now, and one of them is going to be starting in about a week. Uh, so there's a lot of things happening um, all over the place. Um, if you want to help out with those wheelchair ramps, those dates should be posted by the end of this week. Uh, there again, we're still working out a little bit of logistics on um, getting the materials lined up and everything. Uh, but the dates for those should be uh, posted by the end of this week. Uh, the dates for the bathrooms are already up. Um, those I did not post on the website as normal just because of the limited space. But if you do want to help uh, next week with a bathroom to make it handicap accessible, please just shoot me an email, uh, info at 516project.org, and we can get you connected in there. Uh, that'll be the easiest way to get to be a part of that one. Um, and as always, you know, I, I know I say this in every video, um, but there's three easy ways you can help with everything that we're doing, and that's to pray, volunteer, and donate. Uh, so please pray, especially as we're going into these communities that have been affected by natural disasters. Pray for those families, pray for those communities. Uh, you know, th these folks just, they weren't expecting water to come into their house, and especially not to come a couple feet up with their walls and everything. 
So please pray for them that they would just be, that they would feel our love as we come to serve them, uh, that they would understand that we're there to love them, to care for them, and to help them, you know, get uh, get some, get back on their feet. Uh, and most importantly, just to share the love of Christ with them. That's what that's what we want to do in, in everything that we do. Um, and like I said, volunteer, you know, keep up with what we're doing. You can jump on the website, 516project.org, and fill out that volunteer form on there. That way you'll keep getting updates. Uh, and like I said, that new software will be coming out very soon, so it should be even easier uh, to get the updates of when projects are taking place and when to sign up and all that good stuff. And then to donate, uh, it's real simple. You can just text the word GIVE, G-I-V-E, to 540-456-9551. So just text GIVE to 540-456-9551, and that'll walk you through the process. Uh, very simple, safe, secure, all that good stuff. Um, but thank you so much for following along. I know that was a lot of information in a short period of time, uh, so rewatch it if you need to. But uh, we appreciate you all following along. We appreciate the support and the prayers, and look forward to serving with you.